Um, my name's Imogen. Um, I'm currently completing a honours at Flinders University in science um, and I have done a Bachelor of Animal Behaviour. So my honours project, we're looking at the behavioural and physiological response of koalas to drone surveying. Um, and the reason we're looking at this is because drones have become a very imperative conservation tool. They're used for population monitoring, facial recognition um, and general uh, management in conservation. And we want to uh, investigate whether there is any um, response of koalas behaviourally and from a physiological point of view to uh, drones in conservation areas. So in our project, um, we have developed a new methodology of assessing heart rate in koalas and we are um, attaching Fitbits to the koalas' wrists and measuring their heart rate uh, in fine temporal scales. We're also uh, looking at the um, behavioural response of them during their fit while the Fitbit is attached and then we're going to be flying a drone over the enclosures. Koalas are an Australian icon um, and they're very important for our environment as well. Um, they are ecosystem regulators, um, as most species are. Um, it means that they are very important in regulating um, the environment and the landscape. So determining their populations um, across Australia is um, very imperative. And part of that is um, in conservation management, it has been using drones to do population surveying, uh, which is where our project comes in because we just want to ensure that the um, koalas are, uh, that we understand the implications of short term and long term responses of koalas to drones. So we hope that um, in understanding um, and furthering knowledge of the impacts of drones in conservation uh, that we um, assess and mitigate management policies and procedures around uh, drones and conservation science. Um, I'm hoping to further this research after my honours. I feel like this is a very important um, aspect of conservation management, not only with just koala species, but with species um, across Australia, um, endangered and threatened species. Um, I hope that I can further my, um, my knowledge that I gain from this project, uh, especially in the use of technologies uh, in conservation science and um, yeah, apply that over um, the next five years. Koala Life um, is a very important um, organisation. Um, I think forming scientific research and other industrial partnerships um, in you know, survival um, science is very important, um, not only just for research, but for public, um, the public domain. So informing the public about how important species conservation is. Um, I think what the public could do is um, make a small donation of any, any amount to Koala Life will help in uh, the research that um, is currently ongoing um, in conservation of uh, species, especially koalas. Um, or you could just visit even your local wildlife park. By donating to Koala Life, you could help koalas just like Cyclops here. Koala Life has been really important in initiating and um, with the ongoing support of um, the research that we are currently conducting here at Cleveland.